Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. Well, as the title says, Dyskinetic Syndrome. Uh, something that um, I've never witnessed personally in my collection. I've never had it before. But uh, I've got two tarantulas, as you can see here. Now, this one here is a Mexican red knee, or Brachypalma homori. And the one at the bottom is a mature male, Gramasola rosea. Now, these two tarantulas... I got from my friend yesterday, um, she was selling them, uh, she's been asking me for the last three or four months to help her try and sell them, um, she hasn't really got time for them no more, um, she's got three kids to look after or three children to look after, so I went over to hers yesterday and uh, I collected them from her house, but a few days ago I put them up for sale and the mature male G. Rosea, he actually went straight away, he sold and he's going to Belfast in Northern Ireland tomorrow. But unfortunately, the Mexican red knee has dyskinetic syndrome. And as soon as I picked it up from uh, my friend's house, I actually noticed it acting very, very strange. So let's uh, take the lid off this enclosure here and uh, let's take a look. So ladies and gentlemen, there is the Brachypalma homori. Um, it molted three weeks ago, and uh, my friend said it hasn't actually eaten um, since it molted. And to be fair, she doesn't really know much about tarantulas, and uh, I think that's why she was getting rid of them. And plus, as I said, she's got three kids to look after. But as soon as I actually seen it in her house, I'd give it a little touch, and it was acting very, very strange, very, very lethargic. I gave it a feed yesterday. And it took down a large cricket. And you can see part of the cricket inside the water dish there. So I'll take that out a little bit later. And you can see a few uh, leftover bits of cricket just there. So I got it to eat yesterday. But um, yeah, unfortunately there's not much you can do about dyskinetic syndrome. Uh, with my experience uh, with this syndrome... Like I said, I've never witnessed it in my collection, but a lot of people have been saying that it could be um, using air freshener or body spray in the room where you keep your uh, collection, or it could be something in the food. I'm not too sure what it is. There hasn't really been much study about it, but if I just touch the tarantula, it will keep flapping its, flapping its legs around. Like it's got no control over its nerves in the body. But um, I got it to, like I said, I got it to eat yesterday. See how it's just flapping its legs around? Very, very strange. And like I said, as soon as I went over to her house, I gave it a nudge on its abdomen and I knew straight away it was uh, DKS. That's what they call it, DKS syndrome. So... Yeah, it's uh, unfortunately. This spider has actually been sold to a gentleman in um, Glasgow, in Scotland. He wants to get into tarantulas, so I've been giving him uh, plenty of advice. And I said I've got a brachypal. I've got a sorry. I've got a um, yeah brachypalma homori for sale. But um, yeah, I didn't know he had DKS, so I've actually told him this. And because I'm going to the Doncaster show on the fifth of November. I said I'll pick him, pick him a uh, Brachypalma homori up for him. But yeah, if as you can see, it's just yeah, acting very, very strange. But with this syndrome, there is, unfortunately, there's nothing you can do. Um, I know a few people have said on the Facebook tarantula groups that a few tarantulas have molted and it, the, the syndrome's disappeared. But unfortunately, this one's molted three weeks ago, so yeah, it's acting. It's just yeah, it just keeps flapping its legs everywhere, like it's got no control over its body at all. So I don't know what to do for the best. I don't know whether to um, do something that I've never done before is to power feed it as much as I can, and then hopefully it has a quick molt, and the dyskinetic syndrome molts out of out of the tarantula. That's the only option I've got I don't really want to kill it if I can some people just put their tarantulas in the freezer 
or some people just get a brick and squash it. That's probably the most humane way. Putting it in the freezer can be a little bit um, cruel. That's what I think, because you're giving it a very slow death. Where if you get a brick and just squash the tarantula, it will die instantly. So, but I don't really want to do that. I want to try and give it the best chance it's got. And I was a bit surprised it took down that cricket yesterday. But uh, his abdomen was a lot smaller than, than it was there. It's a little bit bigger now. So what I'll probably do is I'll leave it in here and I'll power feed it, like I said. And uh, let's go on to the um, mature male, Gramasola rosea. So everyone, there is the mature male, Gramasola rosea. Uh, he's a big boy. He's probably around about the three, three and a half inch leg span. And um, she sent me a picture of him on Thursday. And I noticed his uh, emballo, his boulders pedipalps, and his hooks, his mating hooks, which should be behind the first two pair of legs just here, and his emballo, which will be on his pedipalps just underneath. You'll, two, you'll see two red sacs, and that's where he storms, uh, stores his sperm. I can't get my words out today, but as you can see, he's perfectly fine. He's walking around, and... Um, I gave him a cricket yesterday and he really wasn't really that interested. Got some fantastic colours on him. And he just wants to uh, find a girlfriend and uh, mate. That's all he wants to do. So like I said, he's been shipped out tomorrow. And you can see that uh, embolia that I was talking about. And he decided to come onto my, onto my hand. Yeah, there he is. And there you go, everybody. There's a perfect shot there of his mating hooks just under his pedipalps there. And you can see the hooks just on the first pair of legs as well. So, yeah, that's a mature male, if uh, people didn't know. So there's a prime example. Let's just put my phone down there. And if you didn't see where the mating hooks were, they're just underneath there, look. And there's one just there, look. So, yeah, let's uh, put him back into his enclosure. If he'll go in. Hopefully he'll go in. Go on, mate. This way. There we go. So, he'll be uh, seeing some love tomorrow. Oh, he's, uh, he doesn't want to go in, I'm afraid. Oh, there we go. There we go. So he's doing perfectly fine. So I hope you enjoyed this video, everybody, of a uh, dyskinetic syndrome that I've never seen before. So like I said, there's not really much I can do at the moment for the uh, Brachypalma hamori. But uh, I'll try my best. I'll try and power feed it and get it to malt again. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, everybody. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone.